Hello everyone, my name is Agnia and uh, you are watching now Peace Revolution channel. And Peace Revolution is a project that brings peace to the world through the practice of meditation and mindfulness. And also we are bringing to you all kinds of interesting personalities, people that can inspire you to uh, develop yourselves through different kinds of means. And today we have one such very interesting person and his name is Salvi Greco. Hello Salvi. Hello, hello to you Agnia and to everybody. Yes, uh, it's very nice to have you with you today, with us today. And um, uh, just to say a few words about Salvi. So Salvi is a, a youth trainer and facilitator in the field of non-formal education. And today we are going to speak about how uh, non-formal education can contribute to your self-development. So we all know what is formal education. It's all about going to the school and, and gaining education at school. But then what is non-formal education and how can it help you grow? Uh, also, we are very open to your questions, so you can uh, comment this video or ask questions and we will get to answer to them later on. So, Salvi, are you ready to start? I'm ready to start and to share a little bit with you. Okay, Salvi. So, the first question, just to be clear, uh, what is non-formal education for you? Mm -hmm. Just to be clear, it's already a big thing because um, something that we have a bit in our field is that uh, many times we say that it's not that easy to explain in few words what non-formal education is. Uh, before you mentioned already uh, formal education, like uh, mentioning the, the structure, like going to school um, or university or any kind of uh, formal setting, let's say, where there is a where there is a teacher, a professor, uh, and a class, let's say, or a group of people that are there to listen, etc. So, following uh, the topic of the structure of formal education, it's, uh, um, it's something about learning uh, that happens in a, in a different context, which is not in the school meaning not structure like the school, starting in the beginning of the year, ending in the end of the year, uh, getting the diploma, or this kind of stuff. And formal education most of the time happens in a shorter uh, term uh, activities like training courses or seminars. Um, and there are different pillars you know, that defines a bit of formal education. Maybe it would be a bit too long to go through the different pillars. And also, like for many things, uh, there are different understandings also about uh, non-formal education. So, what for me counts when uh, when it's about non-formal education uh, is that uh, the group is the main source, mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, and of course there are different roles, different responsibilities. The trainers start to provide the space, to set the space, but then when you start working with the group around the topic that the activity is about, uh, the group becomes fully part uh, of the learning journey uh, and the trainers uh, besides giving maybe sometimes some, some input but mostly uh, creates the conditions where every single participant can really and fully interact in their own way because also being active in the group could, could be another discussion what it means to be active does it mean that you have to be Talk active, not necessarily. Is oh, the active is, uh, yeah. um, is uh, to be part of the group in your own way, mm -hmm. um, not by the way that somebody else uh, defines. This for me, for example, is um, uh, is a crucial uh, element. So, in the role responsibility of the trainer is also to give the space to to the participants of the activity. Uh, to give them the space, but also uh, to allow them to take the space the way they feel, the way they want. Um, so this is for me, if I have to pick among many, uh, this would be an element that for me is quite important in defining uh, the formal education, but also in defining the role of the trainer, of the facilitator. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, I really like this giving the space that sometimes we think it's all about activity, but actually um, uh, it could be another way for someone else. It doesn't need to be like physically active always. It, it can be uh, more silent and still your own way. Uh, that's a very good point uh, that you made. And exactly. Uh, also, just because, just because you mentioned physically active, active yeah. because in these uh, settings um, of non formal education, say, many times we use uh, activities, methods uh, that imply also some, somehow physical movement. Um, but yeah, the, it's, it's very good. The idea is always to give to participants the right to choose. Uh, of course, the trainers, the facilitators, they, they have to propose something, uh, some kind of method through which you go deeper in the topic. But then to, to allow participants to choose if they really want to do in that way or maybe not. Perhaps sharing the group. Um, so, this is, uh, so that, that the, the participation of, uh, of people has to happen on a voluntary base, this is another pillar, let's say, of formal education. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and then you said you are the facilitator. You are one of these people who are there, who are uh, facilitating the process and giving that space for the participants to discover themselves, to be themselves and to learn. And um, could you tell us a bit more about uh, your path, how it started for you? Because obviously you were not a facilitator already um, from the beginning, right? So how did this uh, happen to you? Well, uh, every time I'm asked, like, uh, how did you start? Mm -hmm. uh, it's interesting because every time maybe you find a different uh, starting point. Uh, um, but how I started actually um, was when I was not even aware that what I started to do was uh, like non-formal education. Uh, it was when after the school I started with my organization, uh, doing activities which were about theater, which were about music, uh, and other kind of activities with, with young people, with children. Um, and then um, I did also uh, some street, uh, street work education uh, activity, still with young people. Um, and this is actually where I started, and that led me uh, later on uh, to to join the, some of the European projects uh, of the European Commission for for youth and others, mm -hmm. uh, which was actually in 2001 2002 with the program that at that time was called Youth. And there, how to say, I, first the program was clearly. Uh, based on formal education, uh, so I got to to understand a bit better the concept and and how you can use it for yourself to work with the groups. Um, so this was a bit, in short, the, the path when I when I started in my local dimension uh, to do activities with uh, with young people, and then that uh, and that was more as a youth worker, let's say. Than, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and this, this led me actually to uh, to these European programs where I could really find another specific dimension that was really really crucial in my in my path, also in becoming a trainer. Mm -hmm. So, how many years you are already a trainer? Um, as a trainer, I started uh, in two thousand six, uh, facilitating my first seminars and training courses. Um, and then uh, uh, in 2007, 2008, it was the other uh, very important milestone milestone when I participated in the uh, training of trainers uh, of Salto, uh, Training Cooperation Center, uh, which is a long-term training course for trainers. And then I got even more uh, deeper understanding of non-formal education, of working with groups, facilitating group and personal dynamics and processes. Um, yeah, uh, and then, yeah, it, it's what I'm doing. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm still... Okay, 
And also, um, if we go a bit back to the school topic, uh, you uh, you have this uh, very interesting quote that you said that you started learning when you finished your studies, right? Yes. And that, um, um, yeah, you have this story of being in a school and, uh, and not really going for university, right? And, and this was uh, also kind of a reason for, a, for a maybe a bit lower self-esteem. So how did... Uh, non-formal education inspired you to go through that? Mm, yeah, I, um, uh, this quote that I made for myself, like I started learning when I finished my studies, uh, but it was already a few years ago, eh, but I still keep it with me because somehow, um, of course, it's, it's playing a bit with words also, no? it's a, maybe it's a little provocation also. Mm -hmm. um, because when I was uh, following the formal path, let's say, of learning in school, uh, of course I learned something, but it was not something that was inspiring me. It was, how to say, that structure wasn't working with me. Uh, and that's why, even if I was still young, but I was pretty sure that going to the university wouldn't have worked with me, and I didn't go to the university. Mm -hmm. uh, and I started my learning path uh, just following my interests. Mm -hmm. And I say that after my studies, when I started to really follow my interests, I really started to learn because I was passionate about what. Uh, and it was a very non-linear path because I was jumping also uh, from one thing to another thing. So. I, I was learning, uh, let's say, uh, about many things, sometimes very different things from each other. Um, but that is something that I would define learning. You know? mm -hmm. Then, of course, later on, when you are more and more able to process uh, everything that happens to you, of course I can recognize that and acknowledge uh, all the things that I've learned uh, uh, also when I was in school, when I was working, mm -hmm. because I did many different jobs, uh, but this comes later, you know, and this capacity to process, to work on your personal learning process, this came actually with no formal education, uh -huh. because simply uh, I found there something that I never found before, like time during the day of a training course, time for yourself to really reflect, to really process what happened during the day. Mm -hmm. And you could do that, and you can still do that uh, on your own, in a personal reflection dimension, etc., but also in pairs, but also in, in small group. So quite some time is dedicated, or should be really dedicated, for this uh, self-reflection, self-assessment. We still with the support uh, of the group, because it's always uh, a mutual process. No? You are there for your own development and learning, but you are still in a group where mm -hmm. sharing is, uh, is the most important thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and uh, is, this, is this something you have uh, still taken with you, the self-reflection part, uh, um, which you mentioned happen, happens on training courses, but maybe also now from, on, on your day-to-day -day life you uh, uh, integrate it in your day? <laughs> The self-reflection um, and this processing things, you no, know, it's uh, in training courses uh, happen in a quite specific way. Like that there is time defined every day to do that, uh, and there are also tools and methods to facilitate this uh, this self-reflection and reflection process. Uh, but then. When it starts to be a habit, mm -hmm. uh, also when you are uh, at home, when you are in other places, in a different way, but you still do it, mm -hmm. simply, because, simply because you you know the importance that it has. Uh, and also because there is one word that we use so many times in, in different contexts, in different settings. When, when we talk about experience, mm -hmm. um, how many times we, we say experience, trainer, experience, uh, manager, whatever. Uh -huh. But it's very interesting also to reflect on experience. No, mm -hmm. I like the quote of a philosopher who said, experience is not what happened to you, but it's what you do with what happened to you. Oh. So meaning that if you don't stop 
from time to time at least to reflect on what happened to you. Uh-huh. All, things, all the things that you leave, all the things that you go through, maybe don't really become experience. Uh, right, you have right. to be aware of something to uh-huh. transform it into experience. No? So could it be like you are gaining some kind of new perspective of how to basically live your life or how to perceive your life? Absolutely. Um, when I when I mention my milestones and all that, that, like we are talking now, being a trainer, etc. Mm-hmm. For me, it's not just a professional level. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the year when I did uh, the, the training of trainers, for example, mm-hmm. uh, that for me was not only changing and improving uh, my competences as a, as a trainer, mm-hmm. but it was also um, how to say, uh, learning a lot about myself, and this changed also thing on a personal level in my, in how I relate with the world. I would say, uh-huh. and that's the thing. Uh, you become aware uh, of certain things that are not just things for your work. You know, uh, you close uh, the training room, you go up. Are things that you bring with you, of course, and then. The deeper you go, the deeper also you change in, on a professional level, of course, uh, and human, uh, yeah. professional and personal human uh, level. This is very exciting. Sometimes it's also exhausting because uh-huh. you really feel it, you know, that there is never a moment when you feel like, ah, now I'm like this, I'm okay, or it's really a continuous, uh, uh-huh. a never-ending process. Uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it, it sort of expands into your life and uh, it just becomes part of you. Yeah. Uh, and also, I really liked uh, that you were using a lot of the word awareness and being aware, right? And, and uh, this somehow uh, kind of links to, to what we do uh, as, as Peace Revolution and, uh, and we are using the tool which is uh, meditation to basically bring out the same kind of results, which is more awareness, more being in the moment, more being, uh, being here and now, and, and realizing what you, what you truly do with your thoughts, with your speech, with your speech and with your actions. So, um, uh, what would be, um, uh, what do you think, um, since also you have taken part in some of our programs, um, can meditation be used as a, as an effective method for this uh, awareness and what it means to you? Well, absolutely it can be. Um, I've been in, uh, in one of your activities, in one in particular, the European Peace Summit in, uh, uh-huh. in Hungary a couple of years ago. And if I was there, it, it was uh, not only because I had uh, a keynote there, uh, a little speech, but it was because I was uh, uh, a bit into uh, meditation also. Uh, I don't practice regularly meditation, mm-hmm. um, but I find uh, I find very important uh, um, to have these moments when you sit still or you stand still, or I mean, to really be uh, with yourself. Um, so. Uh, as many things, you know, it can be done in different ways. There is a practice, there are very structured practices, but I like also, as some expert says, that already to start with this uh, moment to be still uh, okay. is already quite important, and this is what I keep still with me. Mm-hmm. Um, and yes, especially in times like uh, our times where our lives are quite hectic, um, mm-hmm. I think it's, uh, it's really important, you know, uh, again, to have these moments um, to be with yourself uh, and to be as much as possible aware of yourself, of the, the world around you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, because this is uh, another element, you know, that in different fields uh, sometimes we take a lot, so like we live in times also where there is a lot about the self. Yeah. Self, self reflection, self development, etc. But it's very important uh, to keep the link, the bridge, you know, with you and the world around you. Mm-hmm. Of course, the first step, of course, is to to know yourself, to to be aware of yourself. Otherwise, it's also a bit more difficult to to relate with the, with the world around you. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, so uh, so basically different tools can be used, uh, as you said, but um, I think the, the aim of uh, whichever tool you are using for your time being with yourself is still the kind of uh, gaining your peace with your own world or peace with yourself so that you can uh, yeah later have peace with others. And uh, for instance, this is what we are doing with uh, meditation and mindfulness. And I was wondering how uh, how is this uh, peace building part or or peace uh, peace making peace building part uh, happening in non formal education? If if somehow it's also involved in those uh, activities uh, uh, that uh, that you are proposing uh, people to do. Well, um, peace building is really well. Uh, it's a huge concept. Mm, uh, I don't know, I, uh, when, when you say this, this building, my mind goes back, back. Uh, when, when, to when, when I was uh, young, young. Uh, and, and I was, was um, involved, involved a lot in movements, movements no, for mm -hmm. peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, and that, that was, was basically being part, part of this movement, movement talking, talking about it, and, and then many times the uh, the aim was to organize demonstrations, mm -hmm. um, especially in periods when some bigger or some bigger issue appeared. And, um, but actually, I was very happy, of course, uh, in being part of those movements. But I had also always a strange feeling, especially after this uh, huge demonstration in the streets, I remember being in Rome, for example, with one million, three million people mm -hmm. in the streets to shout for peace, you know, and uh, that, that coming back home, it, it, there was always something missing, and I could not really define it, how to say, uh, properly, until when I started, actually, with this European project, uh, mm -hmm. based on the formal education, etc., uh, and, and when, when we started, started to work with small groups, mm -hmm. 25, 30 people, people in the group, and many times the topics, topics are, were clearly related to peace, like, like human rights, mm -hmm. pop mm -hmm. solution, I don't know. Uh, but then I realized, first of all, that uh, to work with a smaller group uh, was much more effective, mm -hmm. uh, to bring some change, let's say. Um, and the other, the other thing, thing that I realized was that, that uh, to build peace is, is not only to shout against, against war. war. Of course, we, we don't, don't want war, we are totally um, peacemakers, peace and, but to build peace, peace is something that goes much more wider. wider. It's uh, starting from how you relate with, with, with people. No? It, it might, might sound, sound extreme, extreme, but, but what, what, that, that, what, does, does it make sense, sense to go uh, to a demonstration for peace and then the, the way you relate with people is being aggressive? aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, or I don't, I don't know. know. I'm thinking about yeah, yeah, stuff, stuff maybe, maybe. But, but this is what I've seen many times. Like mm -hmm. where the leaders mm -hmm. of demonstrations, many times mm -hmm. were also really aggressive mm -hmm. people. You know? and, and, and that, that was one of the things that I was always a bit confused. And Working with smaller groups, uh, yeah, yeah, I could relate that the peace building process is something that is not only about the war, which of course is a terrible thing, uh, but again, also not be overwhelmed by the many disasters in the world. If you should, now, the moment that we are talking, if you open the newspapers, it's terrible what you read, you know? Yeah. The risk is also that as a person that wants to be busy, you just get overwhelmed, you feel powerless in front of what you see and what happened, in, I don't know, in, in Syria or in, in other places where there is. So to have this peace building um, idea that starts with, with the simple fact of how I relate with people in a small group keeps you also more in perspective, you know, not feeling powerless because there is still something that you can do in your small dimension. That the mm -hmm. whole thing with other small dimensions and all the small dimensions. This is the only thing that in some moment, this is the only thing that we feel we can do not to, again, feel the power in front of such a big, uh, mm -hmm. terrible thing that we see around. 
Yeah, yeah, I really like this part about small dimension that, uh, well, of course, we can't, uh, you know, just be very ambitious and go and uh, save the world before actually we save first ourselves and then the local community around us. And, uh, yeah, this power of, uh, of, of smaller group and, uh, and, and first uh, looking into the local level first. So, um, so yes, um, my next question is, uh, is exactly how can, um, how, can a, how can this non-formal education empower a person to go for such changes? So first, okay, a person is changing himself, but then um, to also make changes in the local community, society, and uh, how can it be empowering? Mm. Well, uh, on a personal level, uh, of course, we can see a bit more easily know some changes. Uh, sometimes you get peer feedback uh, from people that maybe have attended uh, training or seminar. Uh, you, you get specific feedback like what, what changed uh, after, after one week. Uh, sometimes it happens in a longer term uh, period. Uh, then, then, of course, of course um, how, how to bring, bring it back, back to your, your group, group, to your, your community. communities. This, this is, is a, a bit of a challenge, um, uh, because, because, as I said, said before, before also, so we are in times where there is a bit of this cell dimension, which is a bit quite tall. Mm -hmm. But, but many, many times, times, at least in the, uh, in the in context, context where, where I work, work more, more uh, people, people that, that I meet with whom we work, work uh, with whom we do training, most, most of the time uh, uh, are people, people that, that are involved, are involved in, in some NGO, NGO in some other structure. structure. So, so the aim is clearly to, to bring, bring back, back to your group and, and then to your local community with the activities that they do with their organizations. To bring, bring back, back uh, simply, simply what you have, have learned, learned. Uh -huh. um, and, and then, then I mean, I mean then, then if, if we look, we look uh, uh, I, don't I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm going, going now the quite, uh, how to say, big dimension, but, but after, after 20, 20 years, years almost, almost with this, this European, European project, project, for example, for example youth, youth in action, action Erasmus Plus, and, and all the other projects for for adults, uh, mm -hmm. grown in the past, past years, years. now we're now having a rest of life. But, but if, if you, you look, look there, there, for example, example um, after 20, 20 years, years of programs, programs you, you, have, have, uh, you have, have a really uh, uh, quite a part, part of Europe, Europe um, that, that feels feel, that that feel to, to be more uh, European. European. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, so this, this is, is a bit little, little change, change no? No? Maybe, maybe 25 years, years ago, there was, there was not this awareness, awareness of, a, of, Europe, of Europe, Europe as a place, place where, where people, people are living in more or less under, under the same, same uh, roof. roof no? mm -hmm. now, now this is, this is also thanks, thanks to the Erasmus program from the university, you know, that, that, Referring, referring that, that is more clear, clear when you talk about the Erasmus generation, generation. Mm -hmm. meaning all the students uh, that have, have uh, gone uh, through these uh, university exchanges. Um, so, so this is, uh, this is to say that that, 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 that change was, was brought thanks, thanks, to, thanks, thanks to, to this program and thanks, thanks to no formal education. education. It's something, something that, that may, many, many times is not, not enough highlighted. highlighted. Uh, like, like the, the recent Europe, 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 I say they also, because of course, we live in, in, in a period where, where the, 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 the Europe, Europe topic, topic and especially the European, European Union, Union is a bit also controversial. controversial. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the Brexit, Brexit stuff, and the, we, we, we know that many, many countries, countries there are very, very critical, critical to say more, more, you know, you know uh, part of the movement. And, and, and this, this virtuous part, part uh, of Europe, Europe uh, maybe, maybe because it's part, part of a smaller, smaller uh, how to say, say this educational, educational, uh, this educational programs, programs are not, not the most visible thing. Mm -hmm. Politics and, and uh, economy, economy, of course, economic stuff, stuff are more, more in the discussion. discussion. Uh, uh, but but all, all this is all, all what has happened, happened thanks, thanks to this European, European uh, project, project based, based on, on education, education mostly, mostly, that really broke together. 
uh, of people that really created a big community of organizations, NGOs, of people, managers, trainers. <coughs> and also, for a few years and still, one of the big topics is, is employability, you know, or unemployability for young people. people. Mm -hmm. But it's also true, for example, in terms of some numbers, I don't know, how, how the impact, impact could be defined. defined. But, but thanks, thanks to, to this program, and thanks, and thanks to my education, and to this power, power many, many people could, could create something as a job. job. Manage, Manage NGO, NGO, becoming a trainer, trainer becoming, becoming a youth worker. worker. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so this for me is something that refers to what we're asking about, how, in, in which way is empowering. This for me, it's also quite free. I know so many people. Uh, I am not that good in numbers, numbers, but there are also numbers. numbers. Uh, even, even if, of course, on the political, political level, level, they are, they are never, never really happy with really numbers. numbers. But, but numbers, numbers also a little trap, you know, we don't have to follow, because, because sometimes the quality, quality of, of things, things happen and not really defined, defined by, by the numbers. numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, this was actually a kind of leading uh, to my next question, how to measure, you know, how to measure success of all these projects, so many trainings, and uh, when people bring back home, when they share, how can we actually measure? So apart from this, um, uh, I don't know, is there something else how, how we can uh, see that change, or what personally for you stands as a, as a kind of, uh, I don't know, that, that keeps you saying, okay, this is, this is why I'm doing this from my day-to-day -day life, and, and this is exactly the reason. Mm. Well, well, I said I before, Lord, that I'm, I'm, I'm not, not that okay, okay with numbers, numbers in many, many cases. And, and I, I don't have also, also uh, this need, need not to say obsession, of, of measuring, measuring things. things. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but, but still, still I, I understand that it can, can be, at, 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 at least for somebody, somebody or, or at, at certain level, level can, can be uh, important, important to have. have. It. About, about measurement, measurement I, I, could I could distinguish in at least on two, two different, different levels. levels. One, One is the personal dimension, dimension mm -hmm. what, what, what you learn, learn in which way you are developing, etc. Et and, and again, again in, in, in this sense, sense we, go we go back, back to where we where started, started now, a bit, bit like, like this uh, uh, self uh, reflection and this yeah. is, and yeah. where, where we really try to understand. Uh, and, and then, then as 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 on a personal level and also on a group level, level, when you when have a training, training course, uh, you have, have little, little tools, tools no, to, to, to facilitate, to facilitate this, uh, uh, um, you can, can go, go with the daily diary, diary where mm -hmm. maybe with some guide questions to help people to reflect and assess what they have learned. Um, but, but also, also about our feelings, feelings no, no, mm -hmm. always um, um, and then, then there, is, uh, there are also, so, so during, during training, training, the team, the team of trainers training choose, you know, what, what the, the, the tool, the method, method that, that it's, it's more, uh, uh, the, the, this part to, uh, to, to measure, measure somehow, how to assess mm -hmm. what, what, what we have learned, learned and, uh, how, how you are going, going through, through the process. Uh, and then there are also, uh, other, other tools, tools that were created, created uh, uh, the most known, known in our future, future, future is the Youth Bus, mm -hmm. um, which, which uh, uh, in the in beginning, but only in the beginning, it looks like a like 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 uh, 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 get, get the end, end of the training, training or the youth, youth exchange. exchange. Um, um, but of, of course, course, it's not only the CPK. CPK. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's a process. process. Uh, it's a process, process. Um, about itself. Uh, assessment, assessment, reflection, reflection and, and there are, are famous, famous eight key competences mm -hmm. uh, through which you can, can make, make a first assessment on, on eight, eight yeah, yeah, key, key, uh, key, key competences. competences. Mm -hmm. um, um, of, of course, course also, also the concept of competence and self and the competence based approach by, by somebody that's a bit, uh, how to say, just gas sometimes, like I said, not, but, but still, 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 you try to. The point, the point also, also the purpose no, no, for, um, uh, of, of the tool, tool uh, and why, 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 why you are using it. it. 
Uh, uh, recently, recently, in the last, last two, three, three years, years, there were also another, another set of competencies that were, were developed, developed uh, uh, in the framework frame of the European, European Training Strategy, the Compact model, 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 model for trainers and, and the Compact model, model, model for youth workers. workers. Uh, this this helps a lot, lot more specifically more trainers and youth workers. workers. Um, um, not, not only to, um, not only to, to to self-assess self yourself, yourself mm -hmm. uh, through uh, different, different competences, but, but sometimes, sometimes in a field, field where recognition, recognition is still lacking, lacking a bit, or this is right. yeah. mm -hmm. so, so looking at those competences, it's also, also really, really like, like ah, this is exactly, exactly what, what, uh, what we do. do. Uh, 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 no, no, uh, so, so these are, are also, um, how to say, say tools that can help to uh, to set success and, and maybe measure, measure. if, if mm -hmm. measure is really, uh, it's really, it's really a need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have heard that youth pass is being more and more recognized and also people attach it to their CVs when they go to uh, apply for a job or it can be uh, used as a, as a yeah, measurement tool. And, uh, and now on a more personal level, what is, what, what is it that um, determines for you that, let's say, this training course, because you go from one to another, and it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, training courses, I, I, I assume. So what determines for you that, okay, this one was good, or this moment uh, is, means that my work is um, appreciated or my work is needed to this world or to these young, young people. So what is it for you? Um, how, how I can understand, understand if the training, training course was a good one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, well uh, we have, we have during, 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 we have during, during the training, training uh, uh, an ongoing, ongoing reflection, reflection and evaluation, evaluation process, process. Mm -hmm. uh, which, uh, which helps, helps us also on a daily, daily basis, basis to, to understand, understand how, how things are going, in terms of content, in terms of the process, uh, the group, the group, the individual, the group. 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 Uh, so, so that's, that's why, why again, again you know, to really to dedicate, dedicate a specific uh, and enough time, time uh, for this uh, reflection and evaluation is quite, quite important, important. Uh, because, because it's, it's throughout, throughout the training, training course, course uh, so, you so you can, can even, even adjust, adjust because, because again, again from education, education so, so this is part, part that, that it is very, very important, important. Uh, with, with this feedback that you get daily, daily uh, uh, you, can you can assess, assess that, adjust, adjust, adjust and time, time change, change also, also a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. if, if you get, you get clear, clear constructive feedback from, from the group, group mm -hmm. uh, that may be needing to go, go in a, in a different, different direction, direction or, or to add, add something. something or, or, uh, and, then and then, of course, in the end, you have a good, good uh, portion, portion of time, time uh, to make, make a final evaluation of the training course. Mm, that happens happen in different, different ways. ways. Uh, uh, with, with that, that uh, ongoing, ongoing reflection and evaluation, and with the final evaluation, many, many times, times have already quite, quite a good picture, picture of how it how went. went. Mm -hmm. if, if participants were mm happy -hmm. with how the content mm -hmm. we were developed, uh, how the methodology worked, uh, how, uh, how was the interaction in the group, so, so also, also about, about the process the, uh, of the group, of the, group, of the individuals, individuals uh, uh, with the with team, the team of, trainers. of trainers, so I think about, about also feelings. feelings. And, and in, in general, general, I would say, say with, this, uh, with this reflection and evaluation that you have, have uh, on a daily, daily basis, basis in the end, yeah. Uh, as, as a global, a global uh, uh, evaluation of the training, training course, course, you have you already, have already um, a, a, a good, good picture, picture that tells you how, how, how it was. was. And then, and then of course, you have, have also your evaluation, your evaluation in the team, team which, which is another uh, step, step and when, when you focus, you focus uh, uh, the training, training course, course from a different, different perspective. perspective. Uh, because a happy group, group in the end yeah, doesn't, doesn't mean necessarily, necessarily that the team may be happy with how, with how the content was developed. developed. Uh, so, so you have you have, have, a, you have the evaluation with a group of participants, participants and you have the reflection and evaluation with the team. So you have also this double dimension also that up to understand what was very good, what was okay, and what maybe needs to be improved. And, and what happens with those people, with those participants who, are, who come to the training course and then 
And then, the, yeah, do you hear from them? Do you see them again? Do you see that some change, they have brought some changes in their communities? Do they come to more training courses? Uh, do, do you notice any of that personal development? Well, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Many, many times, times I have, have, have to, to, to meet, meet again. again. Uh, uh, somebody who is in a training course, 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 you meet again in another, another training, training course, course, or mm-hmm. you meet in a conference. conference. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, Sometimes maybe, maybe you don't meet again, 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 but not, not with everybody, everybody in the group, group. Uh, uh, but, but with some, some people, people who you keep in touch, uh, mm-hmm. also for uh, in, in the future. future. Um, and then you get this feedback, you know, uh, this, uh, this happens happen quite some time, time. Uh, when, when, when participants of the training course come, come back, back to you, you say, say ah, you know, know after, after two years, years maybe, maybe uh, now, now I'm doing, doing this, this, and, and thanks, thanks to the training, training course, course uh, I'm, I'm doing, doing what I'm doing, doing right now. now. This yes. is something that happens, and uh, many, many people coming, coming to train training course, course, and then start to get more involved in in organizations, local community. Uh, uh, this is not the rule of course, course. There, are there are also, also many, many people that, that do some, some work and then they need training, training for something some specific, specific. Mm-hmm. And, and they go, they back, go back. back. But again, again this, is, uh, this is also, also about, about the, uh, how, you how you know, know about, about the impact. 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 Some mm-hmm. success you know, no, because, because people really, really, uh, some people some are really, really also happy, happy to share with you, you know, and say thank you. But sometimes, somebody just don't do it. And, and it's, it's fine, fine, it's perfectly, perfectly fine. fine. And the and other, the other very, very interesting thing is, thing is uh, uh, when you when meet somebody, somebody really after, after years, years, three, three four, four, five years, years and, and you were never, never in contact, contact you, you, during, during the period. period. And then, and then you get, get after, after three, three, four, four five years, years amazing, amazing things of how important that training was for was. So this, so this thing, thing of the impact factor, no, of course, the more you know about the impact factor, the better it is. is. Mm-hmm. But that's, but that's why, why I say also uh, that, that we, we shouldn't get, get stressed with that, 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 because, because if we think, think to ourselves, ourselves, ourselves you know, know, how many, many things that happened, happened 20, 20 years ago, ago uh, come, come, at, at, come, come now, now, now back, back to our, our life and have a useful... So that's why for me, one, one crucial, crucial element, element, element uh, of training, training courses, courses. Uh, is, is to make, make people, people also living a nice, nice experience. experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't, doesn't mean, mean please them, them just, just to create, create you know, know, maybe, maybe to make some, some emotional, emotional manipulation. manipulation. No, 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 I'm not talking, 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 talking about that. Really, really talking, talking about, about creating, creating space, space and environment, environment uh, where, where people can live a happy experience, enjoy the experience. Why not? No, what's wrong with that? Sometimes we have discussions among trainers. Yeah, but if they are happy in the end, it doesn't mean that they have learned. I don't know. I mean, I mean, but what's but wrong, wrong with, with having, having as aim to also, also have, a, have a, an experience that is genuinely again, again, again not, not for some money, money, money later, later just to have, have uh, you know, happy, happy, happy in the end. So, so, and also, and also because, because as experts says, says, years, years later, later, a child will not, will not remember, remember the things that they both told him, he will remember the moment that he lived, no? And fans were the thing also to my mind with the extent that it's possible. Uh, so, so that's why, that's why I create great conditions. conditions. I like, I like a lot of this, this, this creating, creating the conditions, conditions. where people, people can, can feel at ease as much as possible. As possible. I'm, I'm not, not one of one of trainers, trainers who go there with the idea, idea of challenging people, 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 for example. example. Mm-hmm. Which is which not is wrong, wrong. But but I don't think I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I but for but me, it's not really the purpose, purpose because, because there are many people who have this idea, idea. I like like to challenge people. For me, it doesn't mean a thing. I can, I can challenge, challenge somebody. somebody. First of, First of all, if this person asks me, ask me, please, please challenge, challenge me. So and, then and then about, about specific, specific things. Thing. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's, so that's why, why this creating the condition of the means means creating space for people, people feel, feel safe. safe. Uh, also, also, maybe it takes take then uh, a challenge when it comes. Challenge, challenge, you never, never, you never, never know, know what, what is uh, what uh, challenge, challenge somebody, somebody when, when challenge, challenge appears, appears in a week, in a week uh, of a training. Of a training. So, so, so to create, create a safe environment, environment uh, where, where people, people feel also, also to get, get out, out of the famous, famous comfort zone. zone. Uh, mm, uh, the famous. The famous. <laughs> because because also this is a lot, lot now where 
uh, rhetoric, uh, rhetoric and, and all like that. Yeah, yeah. well, yes, of course, 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 course in principle, principle it's right, right, right. But, uh, I like I to say, for example, example before, uh, before leaving, leaving your comfort, your comfort zone, zone, it's good it's to know, know your comfort zone. zone. What, what, exactly, what, what, yeah. Zone, because, because it's also good, good, good to go back, 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 back at the same time, 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 as for as many, many things, things how, how you understand and how you put it in a place, place what's your purpose, purpose of being, being being people? people. Because, because being a being trainer, 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 first of all, it means, means that you that choose, choose to, to be with a group, group of people. people. Group, group mm -hmm. people. So, and so for me, it's is why. why. Of course, of course the training course is about the topic, it's about learning to learn, it's about the right side. The first thing is that I'm going to work with a group of people. That come from different, different places, places to have, have a bike by day, six days a week together. together. And so, and I, so I ask myself, myself why, why do you want to be with, with them? them no? No? Since, Since I don't feel to be the person that can teach anything. anything. Um, so, 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 for me, this might sound like a banal question, but for me, it's important. What's the purpose of being and working with a group of people? Which, of course, is not an easy thing. Many, many times it's nice, but sometimes it's a challenge. When 25 people, different different forms, sometimes you have to go through quite difficult processes. If you, from time to time, remind yourself, why the hell am I? <laughs> uh, I try to be so often in many groups of people and working, working and together, together, together and sharing and, sharing and, and creating, creating and stuff. Stuff. Yeah. 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 So yeah, what is uh, what is the answer? Why up to this day you are still uh, a youth trainer, a facilitator and putting yourself in this uh, group situations? Um, I, I like, like being, being with people, people. Would, would be a very, very easy, easy answer. answer. Um, uh, I, like I like being, being with people in a space, space where you know that the time, 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 time um, you have you really a really journey. journey. Mm -hmm. Because, because based, based on the normal education, you really go through contents, but you go also a lot through personal and group processes. Uh, 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 and and it's, it's in one in week, week, sometimes I really, really feel like, like you have to have leave leave three years, years no? no? Uh, 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 and and, and, and it happened, happened, for me, for me it, it happened, happened a lot, lot specifically in that time that, that I mentioned. Um, I know, I know that for me is uh, 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 is a, a way, way to keep, keep myself, myself uh, learning, learning, growing, and, growing, and, and putting, putting myself, myself in cash uh, mm -hmm. so, so these are reasons why I like, like, like this. Uh, uh, and then, then of course, I hope that I can, I can contribute, contribute a bit, bit with, with, uh, with the experience and gain gain part. And uh, and now coming back, uh, yes, to you. Um, how does a day-to-day -day life look to a youth trainer? Like, uh, yeah. Um, um, a day-to-day -day day -day life, life well, has, has, a, a, has a different layer, you know, because yeah. it's, um, um, uh, as, a trainer, as a trainer, I, I work, work mostly, mostly uh, at this, at this European, European dimension. dimension. So, so mm -hmm. like, like being often, often here and there. there. Uh, Traveling a lot. It's, it's moving, it's moving a, lot, a lot, yes. 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 Then, it, then it means that, that to, to prepare, prepare for all that, that is uh, quite some work, work, work to do or more in other places. places. And, and an interesting, interesting thing of daily 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 life. Uh, uh, it's, it's for example, so example spend spend five, five time, time in Skype, in Skype. <laughs> uh, or other yeah, like or other uh, video, video call uh, things, things. Uh, to uh, have meetings. It's a kind of parallel life, you know. Uh, the, the, the same way, way like like people talk a lot, they have to have many times a lot of meetings. Still, still, we do it online. Sometimes I do spend hours hours per day to have to have Skype meetings. And then of course it is a lot lot about. Keep keep to keep learning, learning about, about the things that you work, work. And, and that that means it's nice nice also also challenging, challenging because, because, because not, not being like like a structured structure person, person. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe maybe no no, no this kind this kind of structure for, 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 for how how can I nice learning, learning come come for those for those who go to the university so then I see it's a bit clear you know how structured for me, for me, me the structure is not a linear person. person. Also, also, this is about learning. learning. It's, very it's very nice, nice to challenge, challenge because I find myself, myself, uh, myself uh, jumping jump from, from, from one, one thing, thing to another one. one. 
a participationality part of the studies, learning, uh, reading, uh, watching, inspirational uh, things, and, and Really, really from, from very, very different, different context, context is, because, because, because I find, find myself that this is uh, uh, very, very, very interesting, interesting. Uh, uh, not, not only sources, sources come from, from my specific field, field specific, specific topics, topics and words, and I really like, like, like to, to go, go around, around different stuff that apparently are really far from my from, my, from, from the from topics I want, but gives me. Sometimes, Sometimes I feel really a uh, lot of inspiration and things that I bring, bring, bring in my work. My... And where is your next training course uh, about to happen and when? Um, my, my, my next training course, course will be uh, in, in, um, in May, in, uh, in Italy. Italy. Uh, actually, uh, actually it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not exactly a exact training course, course, it's a closing seminar, seminar of a long, long project, project that we started start in, uh, in November. In November. With mm -hmm. the National Agency for, for Youth. For youth. Um, um, we, had we had the first, first training course in November in, in, in Palermo, Palermo. Then, then we had the process of all the group back, back home, home working, working in small groups, etc. Et et and and in May we have the, the, the closing close seminar, seminar in, uh, in Pescara in Italy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, you are normally based in Italy, right? Yes, yes. I'm based in the south of Italy. And now the, the very last question, if someone really wants to start walk, walking on the self-development path through non-formal education, what would be your advice or yeah, something you would like to say, like where to start and yeah. Mm, well, well, I always, I always say, say that, that, that uh, my, my advice, advice is uh, don't, don't take, take advice, advice for, uh, from any company. Okay. And then you ask for, for that, that, that. that. That's a good advice. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, no mean, I mean, to start, start working, working in, 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 the, in, in the form of education, education, I mean, I mean, I mean it, it's, it's something, something that I, I just, just recommend, recommend no, no, to anybody but that didn't, didn't yet, yet, yet uh, uh, try maybe a youth exchange or, or, or pay, pay, pay course, course. Um, um, because, because it's really, really open, open different, and it, it opens really different, different uh, dimensions and, and many, many windows, windows that, 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 that opens that, that, that gives you new views and new uh, perspectives. perspectives. Uh, uh, how, how to start? start? The idea, the idea is, is to, is to is maybe, maybe find an NGO or an organization that works with that and because, because actually, actually it's difficult, difficult to say how to start, 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 no, no. no. Uh, because, because this is uh, uh, on the on practical, practical level, level to, partici yeah. to participate in these activities, many, many, uh, if we refer to, to, to this to European, European program, program. Of, course, of course there are, there are programs, programs, there are um, um, uh, of the activities, uh, they are planned, they, they are organized, they are projects that we've written. So, so there are organizations working on that. that. So, the, so the, the, the easiest way, way is to, to, to get, get that, that through, uh, through some, some organizations. Organization. That, that, mm -hmm. um, um, and then, and then why, why I say I that it's not easy, easy for me, for me as to say how to start that because, because it's also, also you know, for my education, what was powerful for me, for example, is that it's, 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 it's not, not a defined path. Build path, path. Mm -hmm. uh, path according, according to, to what, what you really, really want to, um, um, to develop, to develop. Uh, for, 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 for somebody else, else like, like your local, local community, community or, any, uh, or organization. organization. Uh, so, 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 again, again the, the, the most important, important thing is to really, really try to find, find your, your interests. Interest. Uh, what, what are your interests? Interest? What are your passions? Passion? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, then, then, according, according to that, also, also try and find, find the project from an organization. organization. Because, because otherwise, otherwise it can be just, just a funny activity, activity, you know? Exactly, yeah. So, to understand then what are your interests and passion and what you want to learn. So, when we say self-develop, Mean, means everything, everything and nothing, so, so what, what you want to develop. develop. <laughs> and, and, and according, according to that, that, maybe you start. start. And, and then, then you end, end the, 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 the nice part of the challenge, challenge, challenge thing is that there is that nobody, nobody saying, saying okay, okay, now you, you made the first step, step and this is the second, second one. one. <laughs> yeah. You create you your path, 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 and this is also very nice, because you can really build on yourself and maybe on the context where you live. 
Yeah, I really liked your advice, how you may call it, but but also it, it goes back to something what you uh, what you already said in the begin, beginning that the way you started, you simply followed your interests, and that's nobody can tell you this. It's only you who can, uh, in the end, uh, define it for yourself and and connect to something that you like yeah, yeah. Uh, doing and and yeah, want to develop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Salvi, uh, anything else you would like to add? Um, just, 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 I'm very, very happy, happy that I had this conversation, conversation with, with, you with you and, and, and thanks, thanks to you, you for, for having, having me and, and, and of and course, of course uh, uh, people that will listen, listen uh, uh, to, this, to this, this, this conversation. conversation. And, and, and if there will be comments, comments uh, uh, if there is something that, that I can, can answer, answer or, or comment, comment more, more, I, I will for sure do it. Thank you so much, Salvi. Uh, thank you for your time and actually really a lot of inspiring things that you said. And uh, yes, thank you to all the viewers, all the people who are watching us. And uh, yeah, as Salvi said, you can, you can leave your comments, you can give your feedback and uh, keep on watching our uh, future interviews with uh, even more uh, people who may uh, inspire you, uh, continuing your path. Uh, okay, thank you, and uh, this is goodbye. Ciao. Ciao.